we are announcing and discussing the introduction of AB 176, which will help address, address health and education disparities of ethnic subgroups within the greater API community. And to get a better sense of what we're talking about here, just take a moment to look around at, at the folks beside you, behind you, in front of you that are part of this special gathering today. And within those that are just gathered here today, we're able to identify the diversity of the API community simply by, by looking at those in, in the crowd here with us. And when you add that to those that you work with, that you go to school with, that you see at the grocery store and within the community, and multiply that by the hundreds of thousands that are in our state, you can just imagine how dramatic the diversity is statewide. And we all know that California is home to the nation's largest Asian American and second largest Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander populations. Data from the 2010 United States Census Bureau shows that California's Asian American population grew 34 percent between the 10 years 2000 to 2010 and, and the NHPI population grew by 29 percent during that same time. So from Hmong to Fijian to Vietnamese to Korean to Filipino to Tongan and the list goes on, there are more than 23 distinct communities within the Asian American population and 19 within the Native Hawaiian and Pacific Islander population. And I would be remiss not to mention my own Filipino heritage. While Filipinos make up the largest Asian population in the state of California, until my election in 2012, there had never been a Filipino member in the California state legislature. And I, I mentioned that to draw attention to the issue of, of why it's so important that I and we here today give voice to not just the Filipino American community, but all API subgroups who face challenges that are distinct and, and unique from the greater API population. And while all of us as part of the API community share common goals and struggles, struggles our struggles and challenges are simply not always the same. The API community is not a monolith. We are not the same in every single respect. Each of our diverse communities has different social, economic, and educational challenges and outcomes that need to be addressed differently. And for all of these reasons, it was important for me to introduce AB 176. AB 176 will require the State Department of Public Health and California's higher education institutions to use specified categories for each major Asian and Pacific Islander group. The bill further requires those entities, thank you, to make that data available to the public on their website and to be included in each demographic report regarding the ancestry or ethnic origin of those being served. And in closing, I just want to say I'm honored to introduce this important bill which at once recognizes the great diversity of the Asian Pacific Islander group, um, uh, groups and most importantly will help craft effective and appropriate solutions for the distinct ethnic subgroups within the greater API community. And this is, that's what this is about. That's what our charge is as legislators, uh, as members representing the great diversity of our state. We need to craft solutions that target and are appropriate. Uh, and, and effective for those uh, distinct communities that we represent.